phenomenal. Yeah, it's like the scale of Kyrgyzstan is, you know, you just stand there in the valley and you look up and you look up and you look up and you crane your neck so far it hurts. <laughs> yeah. My name is James Hayden and I'm an ultra endurance cyclist. Do you want to be a bike packer? Ultra endurance cyclist. I think, I don't know, I don't really care for it. I just I like riding long distances fast. The Silk Road Mountain Race is uh, something like 1,800 kilometers, 35 to 40,000 meters of off road bikepacking, ultra endurance cycling event in, in Kyrgyzstan. It was everything I was looking for. It was just harder, it was a lot to learn, and I really enjoyed learning things, all new skills. And it was just a challenge that, that I needed again to see, to test myself. It's rough enough all the time that it's gonna wear you down and it's, it's very rough at other times that it will just leave you standing still. I don't think he is purposefully trying to make it hard, it's just that that's the way it is if you wanna to go to the places that are worth going to. And you pay the price by having to go the tough way. Yeah. It's worth it. I've been there twice now and both times like something's gone wrong that's pretty much outside of my control, though I take responsibility. It's a case of like, when I start something, I can't sort of cross it off as finished until I've done an effort that I'm happy with or achieved like my best that I'm happy with. There's a lot of pressure for me now before the start of an event that I didn't used to feel in the past because of like the calamities that I've had. And so I just want to start and once I'm going, then like I'll just relax a lot and I'll just feel really like, really good and then I can just ride into it. I think when things are going bad for sure it weighs on you there's no way it doesn't weigh on you but it's up to you to be able to deal with that weight and manage it in a constructive positive way rather than just letting it grind you down and like adjusting my training so that it's more like fluid and being a bit more relaxed and just giving myself the space to like let injuries recover and the space to like remove sort of demands on being exceptional when I go to events so that I can just find my feet again naturally it is, it is important and not like pressuring it. When races haven't been going well and you haven't been doing your best or you're not super fit you've had injuries and illnesses and all these other things and you're not feeling great and you know that like you're here like, and, and you, that's, that's where you should be, could be and you're all the way down there, it's like, it just knocks you back and knocks you down. And, and to try and get back there is like, it just, you, you're looking up that hill and you're seeing the top being so far away and there's no like jet, if there's nothing, you're just gonna have to climb every step to get back to the top and hope that you don't get knocked back down on the way. It's, it's taken me longer to get to where I wanted to be than I thought it would, that I expected and that I hoped. And that's like a mixture of just sort of bad luck, you know, mistakes of my part and then and then COVID and it is what it is but it's been a drawn out thing but I think when I when I get there and I and I you know like stamp authority that I feel is my best it's gonna feel really good you know people talk about this type one and type two fun okay there are hard moments I'm not gonna lie but I enjoy what I do I love what I do and you know when I'm out there on the road and I'm just pushing myself and I'm having fun there's this place that I can go to that 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 just isn't accessible at other times. It's something else. I do my best. There's no other answer than that.